Well, every call him on a jockey, me no use arsenic. He chant pan the rhythm like me screw on pan it original federation. Newborn chronics, put it in the boom box, original chronics alongside boom shot. Yeah, yes. Better sis, he's up. Watch out, boom shot. You tell him to make me wait to murmur now. So this one, I'm sure shot if you stop. Boom shots. Boom shots. Ready again? Yeah, up full. That was a great performance, by the way. Congratulations. Yeah, respect every time. You don't know. It's a nice event. People them airy, everything airy. California carry a nice spirit, you know? <laughs> yeah. It sure does. First time on Coachella, right? Yeah, first time. How does it feel? Well, it was a great first time. You know what I mean? A first time can be a, a lot scary sometimes. And nerve wracking but this one was all right it was you know cool I've seen you on many stages around the world not every stage but you know from Somerset House in London to hometown in Jamaica New York City Coachella you always look like you're so at ease and so at home well me is a world citizen you know I always chant that everywhere that I go I'm a world citizen and that makes me at home Whenever I'm on this planet, wherever on this planet is my home, you know, and I accept it as my home also, you know, and people now, you know, naturally now become your family. The whole world, the whole humanity becomes your family, and you know, once you accept that, then the universe gives you all of the gifts and all of the, you know, the beauty that comes with it, which is, you know, a natural connection between you and the people, and that's the thing that you know we dis I discovered that we as as a unit of musicians we de we're developing that more and more you know as we accept this truth I have to ask every time I speak to you I always feel like I'm speaking to a poet you know like have you got natural born wisdom or do you meditate before you go on stage or do interviews or what is it about you that you seem to have yourself you're calm you're collective you do what you do but you're always in your own well is there a secret no man no man the things that we speak about you know and the things that we do the things that we say is all a part of human consciousness you know it's not necessarily any intelligence from outer space or anything or it's not rocket okay. science no it, it, it's not even science as we know it at all you know what I mean? It's just natural things that we are all born with, you know. And some of us access it, ac you know, can access it. Some of us don't, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just who, as them say, who seek after it, find it, you know what I mean? And me is definitely one of those seekers in terms of overstanding life and, you know, and our purpose here as a people, you know, yeah. Talking about purpose, I know that leads to spiritual belief and God and all of those things. I think, anyway. Uh, roots and Chalice, I want to talk about that because, of course, I know Chalice is very prominent in the Bible. Where did it come from for you in your the naming of your album? Well, you know, it's as we discover things because, you know, I feel like the sole purpose of me being an artist, a singer, you know, and a musician is so that my my music can reflect you know my spiritual growth and can help people along their spiritual growth and not just spiritual but you know your, your growth as a social being you know as somebody living in the world this physical and material world you know how to navigate yourself in and out of the material and in and out of the spiritual you know so Roots and Chalice just reflect where I'm at right now in my growth and you know and, and, and how it and it is presented in a way that it can help other youths along them grow to, to understand what they're going through, you know, with with the earth, you know, with life, with culture, you know, with, with spirituality and all of them things. So 
Yeah, is that Where are you, Chronix? Where are you in your life right now? Well, learning, you know, baby stage, infancy. Call this infant stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and full joy in infancy. Just like how when you was a baby, you full joy the whole truth of being a baby. You know what I mean? You do it, you cry when you need to cry without shame. Nowadays, we don't cry anymore because we are ashamed. You know, we are ashamed of our weaknesses. We are ashamed of... So, I'm, I'm at infancy right now where... I'm not ashamed of my weaknesses. When I need to cry, I cry. When I need to shout, I shout. You know, so it's me learning that. You know, becoming humble and as an infant. You know what I mean? As a little infant then. So, and I learn a lot from them in terms of just how them go about expressing themselves with 100% truth. You know, and if you notice, I remember as a little youth when I do certain things, my parents give me a spanking. You know, your parents who in this material world is a superior, but in the spiritual world, they are not a superior. Right. You know what I mean? They are just the, 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 the gateway that you choose to enter into this material world. But, you know, in the, sp in the material world, they are your, your parents and the, your elders and, you know, your superior, your, guided, your guide. Yeah. yeah, and them spank you sometimes when you do certain things. Like even when you're crying, them say you're crying too much and go to your room and... You know what I mean? But in reality, my life reflect that. You know, a lot of things you do and say and people flag you and send you to your room and say, shut up. You know, but it's truth. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. And, you know, my feelings might be my weakness or the source of a lot of my weaknesses. But at the same time, it is a source of this great strength that we have too. You know, so is is just helping you to understand your feelings and understand yourself as an infant. Right. You know, with the understanding of an infant in terms of what is true is true and how I feel is how I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I see you on stage, um, I always feel like I'm getting like a true Chronix experience. I always feel like Chronix does what he wants. That's kind of a real thing. Is it hard to do that as an artist? Is it hard to always give your real self all the time? Well, my real self happens to be the, the, the artist and the creative person, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I have to create another real self or another artist self or whatever, but I'm naturally a creative person. And in order to access my creativity, I have to, you know, be true to who I am, to really access it the right way, you know what I mean? Because I see the world as music, naturally, from birth. The whole earth is, 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 you know, is something miraculous in a sense, you know what I mean? Because, you know, when you check the fine details of everything, you see how, you know what I mean, how detailed and how magical and miraculous everything is, and, you know, it, it is with that same overstanding and that same person that I create music, you know what I mean? So whenever I'm creating music, I have to make sure that I have full access to this person. Is it difficult to feel to do that, do you think? Or do you think if you're true to yourself, everything is iry? Because everybody always says it's iry, but there must be. I wouldn't say difficult, more challenging. Right. You know, sometimes you don't know things happen you know, that, that create a little challenge in life, you know what I mean? But, you know, every, everybody have challenge, both in their personal life and in, you know what I mean, like, Muhammad Ali, he had, he had challenges. For he sure. had, he had holy field, you know? Yeah. And he also had social challenges, spiritual challenges, you know? And, you know what I mean? David Beckham have challenges. You see in bold, you having challenges, but when you have the challenges, it's a sprint, and you win. You know what I mean? And 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 even when even when you don't win, Something. you know you learn. Yeah. Even when you don't. And win. that's a win in itself. That's a win in itself. So you don't know. It's challenging being an artist in this material world. You know what I mean? But luckily for me, the material world is not all that I have. You know what I mean? Amazing. There are many other worlds many other worlds you know and you you just have to take your right dosage 
of each. You know what I mean? Which means say uh, you don't want to dwell in this physical material world too much. Because we will leave it at some point. You know what I mean? And become too attached to it because this is a temporary world. You know what I mean? It has a beginning and it will surely have an end. You know what I mean? But then now you have the spiritual realms now which is you know, and, and, and the cosmic realms and all of these things that, you know what I mean? A man tell us when he go out of space, some things when he see. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? And this is accepted science, though. You know what I mean? I tell us some things that time operates different in space, gravity operates different. So, there are so many different worlds and so many different things. And, you know what I mean? So, if you don't know, we give thanks to the different words so we, we don't become stressed out too much by this physical world. Yeah.